Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up, uh, we're going to create some coins so that when the uh, person, the player, uh, goes past them, then they will add to your score and they will disappear. So if you go down to where the player is, click on the player, bring your cursor over here, press F, that will focus on that person there. I'm going to go to game object again, I'm going to create a cylinder, like so. There's the cylinder, obviously it's very close to us, the player, so I'm going to move that out right in front of us there, so that we can see it. Uh, I'm going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees, like so. So now you can see that. Uh, yeah, oops, I'll just don't do that. Now you can see that, that that's the case there. Those. Uh, for the scale of this, I want the z axis to be really small, 0.1. No, I don't. I want the y axis to be really small, so that is a coin there. Okay, so that's done. I can right click on that and rename that to coin, like so. Okay, now I've got to put a tag on this, so I'm coming over here to the inspector. Click on the untag and go down to add tag. Now, let's see, I'm going to open this little arrow here. It says element one over here. We have to change this to coin, like so. And now we can uh, click on this and it takes us back to the inspector. It still says that it's untagged here. Now we need to click on that and then click on the coin that we have just added. Okay, now what we need to do go and import a new asset package and this one here is the coin scoring for that and we have downloaded that one from here and it was just there we got that one right click on that save link as come back into unity there it is here actually don't want that in there so I'm going to drag that one out like so okay now I'm going to drag this coin scoring and put the coin scoring on the player, like so. And now what the coin scoring does, you can see this is over here. And I'll click on the player, like so. And it now has the coin scoring over here. It starts off with a score of zero. Now, on here, we need to make sure that the capture collider is a trigger, like so. Now, if we press play, we should be able to see that coin right in front of us. And you can see up here. Here you can see the score is zero, and when I go through that, it disappears and makes the score five. So we can turn that off. And what I could do, if I wanted to, I could duplicate that. And I could continue to duplicate that. Like so, press play, and there gives us uh, three coins, two, one. Look at that, that's too high, so there you go. I'll either have to put it in a jump of some kind, or I might have to lower those so that I can touch them. So it work this way. No, no, no. Okay, so that is basically how we do the coin scoring.